welcome back to my channel I'm ET so today's video I'm gonna be doing a review on the double added tape that I have purchased a while back from Taobao and I'm gonna be comparing the those two double added tapes to the one that I have always been using to see which one is better so I personally do have a double eyelid it's just that it's not as noticeable as I wanted to so I have a really inner double eyelid so when I'm not wearing a double eyelid tape I look like I have a single eyelid but this is how I look like with double eyelid tape on right now so as you can see the crease is more noticeable but when I take off the double eyelid uh, tape you can see that I instantly turn into a single eyelid so that's the main reason why I wear double eyelid tape is just to make myself look more awake and I like having the crease because if I don't have the crease and I put on eyeliner, you, you can just like not notice the eyeliner at all because it's that bad. So that's the reason why I want to wear double eyelid tape. So the two double eyelid tape that I got from Taobao is this one. First to begin with, this is the double eyelid glue. And on the inside, it comes in like this eyelid glue that you just uh, apply on your eyelid. Let it dry a little and then use this fork to stabilize your double eyelid so this is the first time that I use double eyelid glue because I usually just use tape it's easier so this one will be the first time I'm trying it out to see how it is and then the second one that I got is from this like little double eyelid tape so this tape is different from the one that I use so this is how it look like on the inside so you're supposed to peel these like little um, double eyelid tape off and then you have to pull it apart and then like staple it on your eyes and then you're supposed to use the scissor and cut off the pink part so this is like a little dangerous to use but I heard like a lot of good things from this one so I want to try it out to see how it look like also and then finally this is the one that I have always used and I've loved it so this one this is how it look like where is it so this is how it look like after um, on the inside so it looked like a skin color that's why it make it so make it look so natural and then what I usually do is that I'll uh, use I have half of that off to make it even more natural and it still holds up my double eyelid fine so one of these can last me a long time it's really easy to apply also so right now I'm gonna be taking off my double eyelid tape that I have right now and showing you guys how I look like without my double eyelid so without further ado let's get started so this is how I look like without double eyelid tape. So this is the side that I just took off the double eyelid tape off and this is the side that I kept it on so you can have like a comparison on how it look like. So you can see that this side I basically don't have a double eyelid no more and this side you can see like a little crease on the top. So I, you can see notice like a little difference because side with the no double eyelid tape on you can see that my eyeliner is like almost gone and then as for this side you can still see it a little bit so yeah that's like the main differences on having a double eyelid tape and without having a double eyelid tape so I'm gonna be trying out each different double eyelid tape on right now and we'll see which one is the best the first one that I'm gonna do is this uh, pink one the tape first because I feel like after I apply the double eyelid glue, it's harder for me to take off, so tape would be easier. So for this one, you just have to pull it open, and then you can see like the string. And then you just apply this on the space that you want it to, which is like, you can do it above your double eyelid or uh, below, it doesn't matter. It depends on how big you want your crease to be, but I usually just apply it right on the crease, and just to give it more depth on it. So let's see how it looks like. So after you put it on, you have to use the scissor. That look weird right now because I didn't cut off the edge yet. So you're supposed to use the scissor and cut off from the side, which is a little dangerous. So I have to focus on it so I don't cut myself. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay. So it's a little harder than I expected to be, but this one is how it look like so you can see that it's actually quite easy and quite natural beside like the little shining pot but it looks pretty natural on after you put it on and I can uh, this one is much easier to adjust than my than the one that I always use because the double eyelid tape on this one is actually stronger and it comes in like both sides so it's thick on both sides but yeah, this one looks pretty good and it's easy to apply on. 
and you can adjust the double eyelid that you want it to be so I'm, I'm quite liking it and it's quite easy too so this is the one that I have my natural on you can see that this side I can create a bigger crease than this side but depends on what you like which normal size you like it so that's how this one looks like let's move on to the second one so right now I'm gonna be trying on the double eyelid glue so you pull it out that's how it look like and it's just like a substance and then you just apply it on your double eyelid too and apply a little more so so I'm just applying it on the crease right now so I'm not gonna try and I'm not trying to make it super dramatic and then I'm gonna let it dry a little first and then I'm gonna use this fork to shape it out I guess I'm just gonna hold it in place So this one is not staying on really well. I'm gonna apply like the second time to see if it sticks a little better. So you can smell this one is like a really heavy smell and I don't really like it. It feels like it's not as good for your double eyelid but double eyelid tape isn't supposed to be good for your eyes either so yeah. So this one is super hard to apply. So double eyelid glue is actually harder to apply than double eyelid tape because you have to make like uh, crease them before the double eyelid glue dried out and then it's really hard to shape with this fork because it will get stuck into it. So I have to do it with the little tip little by little to see if I can just shape it out naturally. It's a little hard. But yeah, I guess that's it. So this is how it looked like for the double eyelid glue. So I can see this one when I blink you can see like the crease is not as natural as just with the tape. So for this one you need to like spend quite amount of time to actually make it more natural. But yeah i don't have that much time every day to like just make my crease but i'm pretty sure the more you do it the more you get used to it yeah this is my first time trying the wild like, glue so it's not bad i'll say it's just that it's more time consuming and this is how it look like and then when you close your eyes definitely you cannot close your eyes as much i can see that i can feel that my double my eyelids has been lifted like been open all the way so I can't really like close it all the way down but yeah I guess that's how double eyelid glue is supposed to be but I, it looks pretty natural when I open the open my eyes and the crease is really noticeable too but it's just harder to apply and like it's harder to blank it's like you feel like whenever you blank it will like get the glue off your eyelids so this is how this one look like so comparing it with the one that I usually use, I like the um, double eyelid tape, uh, this one a lot, like the string tape one because it's actually stronger and I can make like a bigger crease with it. But my everyday natural one, I'll go with this one because totally no one will notice it when I have this one on unless I tell them I have double eyelid tape on. So this one is the most natural one that I have used. But when you use this one, you might notice it a little because the tape is shining. And then for this one, you can just totally see like the glue, glue like uh, crease on it. So yeah, I like them a lot. And I think all of them is really useful. It depends on uh, what type of person you are. So I, I'm the type of person that gets in a hurry in the morning. So I like this one a lot because it's super easy and super natural. But if I have the time to do it, I'll definitely use the double eyelid glue or the double eyelid tape. Just because um, when I put on eyeshadow, it will look a little more natural than usual. But yeah, these one, the two will give you a like a more noticeable crease um, than the one that I usually use but overall I like these two products a lot and I think it's really easy to use just just that the eyelid glue you have to spend a little more time on like 
making the crease so this is the end of my double eyelid tape review so if you guys have any questions or concerns feel free to leave in the comment box below and if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye